I'm not gonna lie, I've been better. My last container of soup dumplings, well there's one at my parents' house, but this is what I need. I need, I need this right now. The second I got home last night and the door closed and I was by myself for the first time in two days, it hit me like a truck and I've come to realize I didn't really allow myself to process any of my emotions while I was in LA. It was all happening too fast. I could not keep up with myself and my thoughts and it was just like, go time. It was the only thing I could do was get it done. Thank God for my dad who helped me get it done. But now that it's done and I'm here, it's hit me and I'm feeling a lot more emotional than I thought I was going to. So we're having soup dumplings and then we're going back to the couch because I need some time to process. This is good. I did not expect to feel the way I did when I got home on Thursday. I was a shell of a human. I feel like that shell has cracked a little bit and I'm becoming myself again, but it hit me so much harder than I expected. All I could do yesterday was sit on the couch and do nothing. Well, I did a lot actually on my computer, but I just couldn't talk out loud. The emotional and physical exhaustion hit me and I was really working through processing that yesterday and figuring out where my head is at. And I was feeling really sad. Like I, I cried a lot yesterday. I think the biggest thing is that while I was in LA for the seven days, I was kind of working on autopilot. Like I knew I had things that needed to get done. And so I just did them without really thinking anything about it. I don't think I let myself really think and process at the time. Like even the last vlog that I posted on Friday, I physically did not want to feel anything. Like I literally was like, nah, no, I'm not feeling shit. I didn't want anything to hinder getting things done. And if I let emotions come in, like it was gonna be really, really difficult. And then as soon as I got back here, as soon as I closed the door downstairs to my parents, I just like broke down. <laughs> and I could feel myself in the car, like waiting just to be alone, to let myself decompress and breathe. I think, I think I was holding my breath for seven days. Like I, that trip feels like a blur to me. Like it doesn't feel like it actually happened. I've like, I was editing the TikToks and I was, I was editing the vlogs all week while they were happening. So I didn't really process any of it. I don't know. So it took yesterday to really just let myself feel things to decompress, to relax. My body was so tired. It's still tired, but I feel much better today where I can actually communicate. Like I couldn't even respond to people's texts. Like I literally could not do it. I had no emotional capacity for anything. Today I feel like I could be a human and it's a beautiful day here in Toronto. It's actually gonna be a beautiful week. Not that I'm here for very long. We'll talk about that later, but I do wanna talk sometime this afternoon about my whole thought process, the whole thing, but we're starting with coffee. It's coconut coffee with vanilla cream. Pretty good. We're approaching 1 p.m. here. I'm finally getting my shit together. I've been on the couch working. I have a lot of work before I can go away again in like three days. I can't process that yet. <laughs> There's just a little bit happening. There's just a little bit happening right now. I'm not gonna lie, I do wish that I had more time to sit and process this, but I have things happening every single day from this point on. And with thinking more about that, I actually think it's a good thing. I think it's good that I don't just like sit in my emotions. Cause at the end of the day, it doesn't, I don't need to. Like I do not need to do that. I think it's for the best that I'm getting right back into my Toronto life for the next few days. A good reminder for why I chose this to be my home, my only home. Oh my God. I have so much I want to say, but we'll have to do that a little later this afternoon because I am running low on time. But it is strange to think this is my only, this is my only home now. That's obviously not a strange thing, but I've had a foot in each world, LA world, Toronto world, since the beginning of 2021 when I decided, actually no, 2020. So it's been like a few years of this and it's gonna take more than 24 hours or the week that I had in LA to process the end of that, like the end of, both. I don't even know why I'm talking about this right now because I don't have time to actually get into it and it deserves a full sit down. <laughs> Today is my friend Sarah's birthday. So she is having a big party tonight. She actually rented out an entire bar for the occasion. So we're not wasting any time. We're getting right back into it. It's nice that I had yesterday, especially because it was gray and kind of rainy, like the perfect day that I needed to start, start wrapping my head around everything. But we are getting right back into 
real life. This is life. This is it. Getting ready now because I'm actually going to the mall with my parents. My mom said she was going to Yorkdale and I needed to go anyways. So kind of works out great. Gotta pick up Sarah's birthday present. Also, my brother's in town again, which is nice. Tomorrow's Father's Day. There's a lot happening this weekend. Tomorrow's also Rachel's wedding. So we're wasting no time. We're getting immediately back into reality, which I think is good. Otherwise, I think I would sulk for a little bit longer than I needed to. Not sulk, but like just sit as a shell. I was a shell of a human yesterday. Like I wish, well, I don't wish you guys saw me like that, but like, I don't know. I wish I could explain what it felt like. It just felt like empty, which I think is valid. And I'm not trying to excuse my emotions because I feel like, you know, emotions need to be felt and processed. And that's what I was working on yesterday. Anyways, I'm just doing really quick makeup here. I'm gonna have to, you know, do it bigger tonight, but I was also gonna have another plan with two other people today, but there was just too much happening. There was too much happening. I think I might even go, to, oh fuck, I wasn't gonna do makeup because I was gonna go sit by the pool. Okay, let me figure out my shit and we'll pick this back up. Okay, bathing suit is on. Casual, easy outfit on. Left it just at face makeup. I'm gonna take it off when I get to my parents. I would like to lay in the sun. It's a beautiful day. And if my brother's gonna be doing that, I would like to also do that with him. And then I will do my actual makeup before I leave this evening. Works out great. Wonderful. We're gonna go to the mall. Ah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I'm gonna go wave to him. Bye. <laughs> hey! Are you coming to the pool after? Where's Brady? Oh, there she is. <laughs> Are you having some water, Bubba? My dad is making a drink, a special new drink for the summer. He's given me a cup of water to cleanse my palate. And then here is the drink. Here. Oh, I think it's great. Yeah. There is an undertone of yeah. like booze, maybe. No, coconut. Yeah. But like a different kind, not just like the standard coconut. I think the mango will cut not that artificial. back. Once some mango juice goes in there, it'll cut it back a little. as well it has been so chaotic but honestly it's an accurate representation of my life right now which feels chaotic it feels absolutely all over the place at all times but i got back an hour ago took a quick little body shower and now we're gonna get ready again as you can see i took off my makeup at the pool had a lovely day with my parents and my brother and brady around around the water got a little energy drink half because as we've established i cannot have a full one without feeling like my body's you know, crashing. Cheers. Delicious. I need that though. I need it for tonight. So let's get ready again. I don't even know what I've told you. Honestly, my brain has been like half functioning for the last few days. I was actually looking back at the footage from the last few days of LA with my dad and looking at the footage, it all feels like a blur. Like it doesn't feel like that actually happened. I think as soon as he got there, I mentally checked out because I knew there was someone there to help me through it. I didn't have to be 100% on and functioning. So I I think I shut myself down. While we get ready, I figure, oh wait, 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 fuck. I need to do my eyebrows. Okay, wait, hold on. I gotta pluck the brows. And the chaos continues. My makeup is done. I just decided, you know what? Let me just get through it quick. Wax my brows. And now lastly, we're gonna throw on my little, uh, my little lip stain. Also, I need to talk to you guys about the lip lift. So I don't think I've talked about it since it started kicking in. And it's obviously very kicked in. We got lots to discuss. Let's go downstairs and discuss things. And then maybe this won't feel as chaotic as it's been. Okay, actually, one last thing before we stop with the chaos. I ended up getting a lot of stuff at Zara. My mom was in line to return something. And while she was in line, I ran around the store. I had five minutes and I managed to get a lot of stuff. So we're gonna do a mini, mini haul. It's on the floor because I just tried it on and then I ran upstairs to shower. Anyways, this is all for my trip to Europe. Anyways, I got this dress, just a simple white maxi dress, but the little details are so cute. How cute is this? Striped pants, you can't go wrong. This dress is so freaking cute, but it does need like a little bit of tailoring. The side also has a cute little detail. It just doesn't have a waist at all. So it kind of just makes me look a little square. If this was tailored, it would be 
perfect. Now, this is definitely a little too heavy for this trip, but this is a staple. And I do have one very similar also from Zara, but the texture of this is what I've been looking for. Just a classic striped knit, but it's like a chunky knit. This is what I need. This is the vibe, you know? Like, we love it. And then for Sierra's birthday, I got her like a little set from Aloe. She's just got back into running and she just signed up for the half marathon. Okay, so this is one of the vlogs where I would honestly just scrap this if I had more time. If I had time to film another vlog, this vlog would never see the light of day because I just simply think it sucks. So I apologize, but I hope that it's still, you know, somewhat entertaining, I guess. We're gonna chat while I make a very quick dinner before heading out to the bar. Did I tell you that Sarah went to the whole bar? I don't know. I don't know what I've told you. That's what I'm saying. This is a scrappable vlog, but I leave in three days and I want to have vlogs going up along the way and I don't wanna to have to stress about, you know, editing while I'm on this trip. I wanna enjoy it, get all the content. And then when I'm back, be able to sit and edit, you know, the way I would like to. Anyways, we're gonna make a quick little dinner. Let's talk about the lip flip. It is fully kicked in at this point. I don't know if I like it. Everyone I talk to in real life says that it's a very like subtle difference. Me personally, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It kind of makes me feel weird, a little self-conscious of my face. When I talk normally, I think it looks solid. Like it just adds a little bit more. But when I smile, I feel like it looks bad. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. The good thing about it is that it's going to fade. It only lasts like six to eight weeks, I think. I don't know. We're making some pasta with bonza, which is chickpea pasta. It's got a lot more protein than regular, so I like it for that. And whoop. Eight minutes, starting now. Okay, so how I'm feeling about LA. Obviously yesterday was not a good day for me. Like I, I, it was not a good day. Today is a much better day, especially like spending the day by the pool with my family, as well as just like letting the day go on and actually functioning as a human, talking out loud. Like I just sat in my feels yesterday, but it also really helped me to read some of the comments on the last vlog or the, not the last one, the last one before that, the vlog before my dad got in. There were quite a few comments that really helped me process it emotionally, which is kind of crazy. First of all, I'd like to say a huge thank you to those of you that comment on these vlogs. It honestly means so much. I read every single comment, every comment, and they genuinely mean a lot to me. There were two that stood out specifically that I actually want to read because they really helped me process what I was feeling. I, I was having a really hard time just like figuring it out and why I was feeling so emotional about it because I had really ended that chapter a long time ago, but that apartment was like holding on to the last you know, little string that I had left of LA. It was my last tie to my old life and these two comments were like, to me. That's fine. This is gonna be so good. I use this truffle spicy pasta sauce from Trader Joe's. It's good. Okay, I hope Meg and Ashley are okay with me reading these. But the first one I saw was Ashley's and I was like, this is everything that I was not able to articulate myself. Okay, so Ashley wrote, I don't think the sadness is about the apartment or even permanently being in Toronto. I think having property of any kind in LA was a way of emotionally blocking you from this exact moment of processing that this chapter of your life had already ended a few years ago. By having a place in LA, it was a way of convincing yourself that your LA life was alive and still in motion and never ended because your things were there you're paying rent there, etc. Leaving this apartment is symbolic because it's the last true tie that you have to this part of your life that makes you feel still tethered to the past. Everything you're saying and feeling makes so much sense and is totally valid and honestly so healthy. Thank you. You're taking this time to acknowledge your past and go through the motions and that means you'll be able to come out the other side of all these big feelings having closure. So feel all the feelings because this hurt won't last and when you're back in Toronto in your amazing home and realize that truly nothing has changed because your memories aren't kept alive by an apartment, they're kept alive within you forever. I'm sure there will also be so much relief not having to bounce back and forth from your past to your present and just being present going forward. And that is exactly it. The apartment was my last tie, even though the chapter, it was, the door was on its way closed, you know, years ago. This was the last, the last little crack of that door and it was hard to close. I actually got a DM being like, I don't know how you did that. If that was me, like I would have renewed just for the sake of pushing off those feelings. And it's easy to do that. I mean, that's why I got the apartment in the first place. When I sold the house, I, I should have, no, I shouldn't say that I should have just like closed the chapter then because I was not ready and I wanted to be ready and I was in a position to get an apartment and then get to a point where I felt ready, you know, before closing that chapter. Anyways, reading that comment, I was like, yes. And I'm sure to a lot of you watching, that was, this is like obvious. This was an obvious reason why I was feeling sad, but sometimes like you just need to read it from another point of view to have that perspective, you know? 
And then Meg's comment was another one where I was like, wow. So she says, here's how I see it. It's not much different from the way you, and then we all, struggle when throwing slash giving away belongings. You go to put the shirt in the bag to give it away, and suddenly all these fond memories come rushing back. The last time you wore the shirt, the people you were with when you wore it, the way it made you feel. Even though you know the shirt is worn out and doesn't fit you as nicely as it once did, you still visualize a time where maybe it will again. You want to fit into the shirt again because you like it. You want to keep it just in case for a future event or just because it's sentimental. But the reality is the shirt's just taking up space. Space in your closet and space in your mind. I want to cry reading this. It's just extra work every season when you have to move it to the other closet and once again go through the thought process of do I even like this shirt anymore. It's unnecessary stress and if down the road you really want the shirt again, you can buy a new better one. Ellie's the shirt. <laughs> I read it for the first time yesterday and I was crying because I mean that's so me I hold on to so many things from my past so many random shirts in, in all my closet moves I have kept shirts that I have not worn for years with this exact mindset and it, that is exactly it LA is the shirt holding on to part of my past because I have all these memories from when I loved it but it is not the same anymore it's never going to be the same and I want to cry. I can't cry right now. Once, I'm going to get pasta. Those two comments really just like, it made me feel at peace reading them. I mean, so many of your comments did, and I seriously thank you. I don't know. It is so beyond to have a community like this that's been with me through all of these different stages of my life and to now be here fully moving forward with my life here. This is the first time in three years that I've fully been based here. I mean, this is actually my first time since... I was 19, fully just living in Toronto, and that is a really weird thing to wrap my head around. But over today, yesterday, I'm slowly wrapping my head around it, and I'm feeling better and better about it. I mean, I love it here. There's a reason why I chose this to be my future and my home and everything, the life that I've built here. There's a million things that I could say about it, but you know, it's just, it's hard to officially close a chapter that you've been holding on to with like all your might for years, but it was time I was ready. And you can be ready for change, like you can be as ready as possible, but sometimes it's still really hard. It's like a breakup, it's literally like a breakup. You can know a year before you're gonna break up with your boyfriend that you wanna break up with them. And you can be as ready as possible that day that you know you actually do it, but you still grieve, like you still go through the motions of like actually ending something. And that is how I have felt. And I didn't let myself feel it until I got back here. I like literally did not feel anything. I couldn't even cry like until the door closed downstairs and I was like, holy fuck, this is it. It's behind me. And while I'm still kind of struggling with the holy shit, I can't believe it's actually behind me. The other part of me, like my body feels relief knowing that it's taken care of. I don't have to go back there and deal with all my shit. Like it's done. I don't have to worry about that. It's not a weight in the back of my mind anymore because it's been a weight since the day that I got the apartment. I wanted it. I loved it. But I knew this day was going to come and I'm glad I didn't put it off. I'm glad I didn't like sign another lease for the sake of it just so I could put off doing it because at the end of the day this is where my life is I don't need to be there anymore obviously I'm gonna go for trips I'm gonna see my friends but it's not it's not me anymore it's who I was but it's not who I'm going to be going forward so that's where we're at I'm actually looking forward to visiting eventually I don't have to like worry about when like because I'm not wasting money on rent somewhere that I'm not spending time at but I look forward to going there whenever I do and having a completely different mindset because I'm gonna have a it's gonna be my future versus like going right back into my past I'm gonna be in like a nice hotel and like live that life and that's so fun there's a lot of really great things I mean everything about this is great there's not a single negative I can think of about this choice it's just you know we're humans we feel things and I'm just going through the motions <laughs> anyways I'm gonna scarf this down I gotta get some carbs in the system before tonight and we're gonna head downtown and celebrate Sarah.